In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a word problem using a 3x3 system of linear equations, problem type 2. In this example, we see that May, Juan, and Keith sold items for a fundraiser. They sold cookies, candy, and cupcakes. We're given a table to see the number of boxes that each one sold. And then in the final sentence, we're given the total that each one of them sold and we're asked to find the cost for each box. Since our items are cookies, candy, and cupcakes, I don't want to use the first letter since they're all C. I'm just going to call the price of cookies X, the price of candy Y, and the price of cupcakes Z. And then when I'm told that May sold $54, looking at May's column, I can see that May sold three cookies, so the total fundraising from cookies would be three times X, which is the price of the cookies, plus May sold four candy, which costs Y, plus eight cupcakes, which cost Z, and the total of May's fundraising is $54. Moving to one, the same calculations this time one sold seven cookies, so seven times X, and nine candy, so nine times Y, and again, eight cupcakes, so eight Z, and one's total is $92. And then for Keith, Keith sold five cookies, so five times X, six candy, six times Y, two cupcakes, two times Z, and his total is $52. We now have three equations with three unknowns, so a three by three system of linear equations. We can use substitution or elimination. Given the numbers here, I'm gonna use elimination. I'm gonna number these equations, one, two, and three, and I can see that in equation one and equation two, they both have a plus eight Z, so if I took one of these and multiplied it by a negative 1 to make it a minus 8z and then added them, the 8z would cancel. That's our elimination. So I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to add to that negative 1 times equation 2 to get the z's to cancel. Just writing that vertically, equation 1 we know as 3x plus 4y plus 8z equals 54. Now equation two, I'm multiplying by a negative one, so I'm gonna change all of the signs. That would make it a minus seven X, a minus nine Y, and a minus eight Z equals a negative 92. And from here, when we add the three X minus seven X is a minus four X, the four Y minus nine Y is a minus five Y, the Z's cancel, and that's why we added them this way. On the right-hand side, 54 minus a 92 would give us a negative 38. So we used equation one and equation two to eliminate the Z's. Now I need to use different equations to again eliminate the Z's. And one way to do that would be to take equation two and to add to that Equation two has an eight Z, equation three has a two Z. If I multiplied equation three by a negative four, that would give me a negative eight Z for that last term, and then adding would cancel. So again, writing vertically, I have equation two as it is. Equation three though, I'm multiplying everything by negative four. So negative four times five X, negative 20 X, negative four times a six Y, would be negative 24y. Negative 4 times a 2z is a minus 8z. And a negative 4 times 52 is a negative 208. And this time when we add, for x's I have 7x minus 20x or a minus 13x. For y's, a 9y minus a 24y would give me a minus 15y. And just as we wanted, the z's cancel negative 208 and a 92 would be a negative 116. So now we have these new equations, which I'll number four 
and 5, and they are now only x's and y's. So we have two equations and two variables. We have reduced this from a 3 by 3 system of linear equations to a 2 by 2 system of linear equations. And to continue with the elimination, since one of them has a minus 5y and the other a minus 15y, if we took the equation 5 and multiplied it by a negative 3 and then we added equation 4, that would allow me to cancel the y's. So again, negative 3 times every term in equation 5 would give me negative 3 times a negative 4x or 12x. Negative 3 times a minus 5y would be a positive 15y. And a negative 3 times a negative 38 would give me a positive 114. So that's my negative 3 times equation 5. I'm just rewriting equation 4 underneath that. Minus 13x minus 15y equals negative 116. When we add these two, the y terms are going to cancel. 12x minus 13x would be just a minus 1x. Adding on the right hand side, 114 plus a negative 116 would be a negative 2. So our x value is a positive 2. We have found our first value. And now that we know what x is, we can substitute that into either equation 4 or 5 here to find y. I'll substitute it into equation 4. Knowing that x is a 2 would give us a negative 13 times 2 minus 15y equals negative 116. Simplifying on the left, negative 13 times 2 is a negative 26. Minus 15y equals negative 116. Isolating the y term would mean adding 26 to both sides. So negative 15y equals negative 116 plus 26 would be a negative 90. And then solving for y, we divide by negative 15 and y equals negative 90 divided by negative 15 would be a positive 6. So we now know what x is. We know what y is. We would now want to look back to one of those original equations, plug in the values of x and y to find z. It doesn't matter which one we choose. So I'm going to use the third equation, which has 5 times x, but x is 2. So that's 5 times 2 plus 6 times y, but y is 6. So that would be 6 times 6, and then plus 2z equals 52. Simplifying, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 6 is 36. Combining like terms, 10 plus 36 is 46. To isolate the z term, I would subtract 46 from both sides, leaving me with 2z on the left and 52 minus 46 would be 6 on the right hand side. Solving for z, z equals 3. So we have solved for x, y, and z. We now have the values for cookies, which are $2, candy, which is $6, and cupcakes, z is 3, so $3. We've solved for all three variables.